Hello, once again, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Michael Gagalas, and I'm here for SEM Forex, and we have another wonderful video series for you. But before we begin, we always like to start off with our disclaimer. Any decision you make is your own. Any strategy we see today are for educational purposes. Trade at your own risk. You can lose money. So this is our How to Be a Successful uh, Trader video series. If you have not um, watched the introduction to this video, I recommend you go back and watch the beginning because it gives you uh, an idea of what we're going to be talking about. Um, we put together this video series to show you the successful habits of traders, to show you how successful traders look in the market, and therefore allowing you to be a, a, a a high prob probability trader because you're putting the odds in your favor. You're going to level things together so that the odds are in your favor. So to do that, we came up with a five part video series. Again, take the time to go back and check out the intro. So you know, what we're going to talk about and why we're talking about it and how it can help you. But we have five videos that we put together. Do you know what time it is? Chart patterns are us. Technically speaking, stop in the name of money and middle fitness for trading. To the video you're watching now is the first part of this video, do you know what time it is? This video is about being in the right place at the right time. I mean, I'm sure you've heard that saying before, I was at the wrong place at the wrong time. A lot of times they're talking about relationships or when good things or bad things happen to each other. And it's the same thing with trading. You have to be at the right place at the right time so that you can be successful. That doesn't mean you're going to be right all the time. Doesn't mean the trade's going to work all the time, but you do need to be at the right place in order to be, um, to be applying the right strategies for that time. And so the first thing we want to talk about is understanding that there are these different trading sessions. There's the London trading session, the U S trading session, the Australian trading session, the Tokyo trading session, the Asian tra trading session, and based a pair, upon where you live, you may choose to trade one of these sessions. And understand each one of these sessions has their own nuances, their own volatility. Um, in the States, even though there's, yes, there's this 9.30 to 4, but the morning session looks different than it does in the afternoon because of volatility. A lot of people don't come back in the afternoon. And I'm sure there's similar th aspects in each of these trading sessions. So you have to determine which one of these trading sessions works best for you based upon your trading style, because your trading style may be better, even though you live in London, you might work out better trading the US market or the Asian market. If you have a job, you may be, try to trade one of these other sessions so that you can work around your job. But in addition to understanding when to trade in terms of these different trading sessions, you also have to understand what trading strategy you need to apply during those prime times. And the way that we do that is by checking the forecast. We check the forecast so that we can apply the right strategy for the right type of day. You don't want to buy the highs on a range day. You don't want to uh, buy the lows on a trending day and it's just going to go lower. So checking the forecast allows us to look at uh, the market and apply the right strategies. I know a, a person when I started trading, they talked about they would have these 10 uh, investment vehicles to look at if the market is down and these 10 to look at if the market was up. And so when they got, when the market, uh, and they did this at the end of the day. So in the next morning when they woke up, they saw the market's up. Okay. I'm only going to look at the bullish ones or if the market's down, I'm only going to look at the, the bearish ones. There's no need to be looking at bullish strategies in a bearish day. And so there are these different types of trading days and these type, types of trading days both affect the types of trades that you're going to be looking at and how you manage a trade. And again, we're going to talk about the manager trade in the uh, stop in the name of money video, but in a narrow range, you know, that's your consolidation days. That's when the market is in a nice channel, it's going up and down. And in those type of days, you want to take reversal trades. You know, you want to catch the high and short it back down to the lows. On trending days, you want to buy the dips. That's when the market is moving, pull back a little bit, moves, pulls back a little bit. You don't want to do a reversal trade on a trending day. Another way to look at the market is low volatility versus high volatility. Uh, when a market has low volatility, there's, you know, again, that affects your, your stops. Um, when it's high volatility, that really affects your stops. Uh, there's a, a quick story I'll tell you. 
is that I was in this trading room and this guy was trading the news, which is a great strategy. There's a lot of people who are successful at that. You know, I've hit or miss with it. Sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. Um, and again, that's knowing the type of trader that you are and trading the right strategies based upon who you are. But this guy was trading the news. So he had a, a, a breakout strategy to, to go long and to go short. And the market was so volatile on the news that it immediately hit his long. And now that long, the, the, uh, the, the, what he had at the bottom, which was the, the, the breakout to go low, that now becomes the stop to the long. But the market moved so fast that it moved up, triggered his long, and came down and stopped him out uh, because of the breakout strategy that he had. So again, understanding the volatility of the market and understanding that news can do that um, affects you uh, being successful in the market. You have to apply the right strategies based upon what the market is willing to give you. And since we're talking about that, we need to understand that news overrides everything. Um, for Forex, you always want to be aware of anything that's affecting the interest rate of the, the uh, currency pair that you're trading, uh, anything that's going to affect the bank, banking policies of that country. Um, in the States, you've got the jobless claims, the non-farm payroll, the job numbers, earnings, all these news. You want to be, check the forecast and be aware that these things are happening that day. You don't want to be in a trade and then, you know, in the States, a lot of things happening at 8.30 and at 9.55, 10 o'clock. You know, so you know to be out of the market at that time if, you, you know, if you're not a hold. There's nothing like being in a trade and it go against you because you didn't know. You didn't check the forecast. You have to be aware of the news and you have to be aware that the news can change a winning trade into a losing trade. So again, the purpose of this video, do you know what time it is, is to allow you to understand that the successful trader first identifies the opportunity in the market and then it applies the right strategy. The opportunity is, is it a low volatile day or is it a high volatile day? Is it a consolidation day or is it a breakout day? Um, what news is coming out that can affect my day? And applying the right strategy. If it's a breakout day, I'm going to trade breakouts. If it's a consolidation day, I'm going to trade consolidation day. When there's news going to come out, I'm going to be out of the market. That's what successful trading is. That's what's knowing what time it is. Knowing what's best for you, when it's best for you to trade, and knowing what strategy you should be trading based upon that time frame. Defining your edge. Defining your edge. Applying the right strategies looking for opportunities in the market and knowing. And another way to look at that is that I know people who only trade breakouts. Forget about the type of day. They only trade breakouts. And so they wait for days that are uh, trending and they trade those breakouts. I know people who only trade reversals. I, a lot of times, I, you know, they call it catching the falling night. Um, that's their edge. But if that's your edge, if that's the type of trader you want to be, that's fine. But make sure the market conditions match the type of trader you want to be, the type of trades that you want to enter. Define your edge. You don't want to be a guy that's sitting here. Again, if it's a consolidation day, you should not be trading breakouts. If it's back and forth, those are the type of trades you want to be. And if that's not your style, fine. Don't trade that day or find a market that does fit your breakout strategy. If it's a breakout day, you don't want to be trading reversals because the market conditions do not match what you're trying to do. You're setting yourself up to, to fail. In the end, we all want to be high probability traders. And that's when you want to make sure that the odds are in your favor by looking at the playing field and applying the right strategies. You know, you have to be able to distinguish between what types of trades are going to work in each market. And more importantly, you have to know when to sit on hands. Marcel Lang has this great book about high probability trading. I recommend you guys check it out. So again, as we wrap it up, do you know what time it is? Understanding the type of day it is and applying the right strategies is the first step to be a successful trader. So guys, I hope you check us out in the part two of this video. In part two in this five part video series, we're going to now start talking about chart patterns and how you can use chart patterns to confirm the types of trades that you're going to be looking on the specific trading day that's right for those types of trades. Thanks guys. And I'll see you in part two.